we were presented with the opportunity to bring Young Guru in as one of my guest speakers. But what I was pleasantly surprised about is how natural of an educator Guru was. So when I walked in, yeah, I was really surprised. I had a moment where, you know, you have to learn to keep your composure. He seems to really understand how to bring what an artist is trying to say, like, to the forefront. He immediately understood scope and sequence, how to line up ideas through logic and connectivity in a way that really I hadn't had a chance to experience before. Off the bat, obviously, you're, you're impressed with his credentials because he's worked with such incredible people, but then he was able to really speak just as effectively on a song that was really a standard folk tune as he was to speak on something that was, that was more in the style that I think he does more work in. This is our amplitude, right? Telling us how high things are. This is time. A very basic sine wave travels like this, and this would sort of be even, not like my drawing, but it goes up. We specifically want him to consult and help us develop a new degree program in music production so that the students had a complete deep understanding but it was really rooted in professional relevance. I think what was so inspiring for me was really just like how dedicated he is in serving the artists and it's not just sitting down and pressing all the buttons and it's really uh, involving himself in the process and in the artistry of it. If we're recording something, like where do we start? What, what's the whole starting point of recording? A sound, a sound source is what we call it. Be that the human voice, an instrument, you know, a keyboard, whatever you want. There has to be some type of sound source. You guys back there, are you with me? There has to be some type of sound source, right? Most of the time, that's either like an instrument or human voice. One of the things that really struck me with him was how eloquently he spoke. He's very clear in his words. You can tell he chooses them very carefully. If I turn up this frequency, I can't just select that one frequency. I, what it actually happens is sort of like a bell. So some of the frequencies around 1K are gonna be affected. How big this bell is, if the bell is like this, or if the bell is like this, is the cue. So needless to say, we're thrilled about this opportunity. Uh, we can't wait to work with Guru further. And we really think that this is an important step in uh, how we are evolving as a school of music.